Oh, I know the feeling on that one. Seen what Mitch can do with this game, both half. Tournament set up in the format, we have the group stages first for 80% warp this random out. Alrighty, here we go again. We are back for another Super Mario Bros. 3 80% warp this randomized tournament. Uh, I am here. My name is Big John, and I'm here with uh, Terrilyn. How are you doing this evening? Uh, I'm doing just fine. Just fine, that's it? Yeah, today hasn't been too exciting. Oh, I know the feeling on that one. But uh, we are here. Um, we're going to do another one of our races again. Uh, hot off the presses on Mario Bros. 3 Randomized Tournament. If you don't know what this is, you, should better, you better ask somebody. You can type exclamation SMB3 R in the chat to get an idea of what's happening, what we're playing, all that good stuff. We have um, our tournament set up in the format. We have the group stages first, four players per group. Each of them will race each other once, and whoever the top two players from each group they will advance to the bracket stages. And tonight we have Human Mustard on the left. We've got Mitch Flower Power on the right. And uh, we're going to see um, how they fare on this race. Are, are you, I know we got to get you hyped, Terrell. I mean, are you hyped for this? Oh, yeah. I've seen what Mitch can do with this game, both hacked and vanilla. It's going to be a clip fest. Yeah, we have uh, Human Mustard plays the game, you know, and is a little familiar with it. But we have Mitch Flower Power, who is a previous world record holder in the 80% Warpers category and regularly grinds for world records. So, obviously, he has a good knowledge of these levels. But um, as we've seen just from the uh, just from the exhibition match we did before the tournament began, um, someone who did not have a time as good as him bopped him, um, beat two players with a faster PB for that matter. So um, we could be in for quite an interesting event here. And we're going to get ready and give these people the countdown um, so we can get this going. And hopefully we have a pretty entertaining race um, for these people. Make sure they are both ready. And uh, we can get this underway. This should be a, this should be fun. It's always fun to see a Mario 3 randomizer race. Uh, that's for sure, in my opinion. Um, absolutely. Even seeing players who know how to run through this game practically blindfolded, all you have to do is change up the enemies, change up what items you may be bringing into the level, and it becomes a whole new game. Indeed it does. It's never, literally never the same game twice in the randomizer world, so this should be quite fun, and we're going to make sure that they are ready, and make sure Human Mustard is all ready to go. And here we go. Let me, let me stop having fun with them. I'm, I'm literally giving them the countdown here right now. I'm having too much fun here. So again, they're playing in the 80% warp this style. They're going to have to clear all eight worlds, except one thing, everything is randomized all over the place. Uh, apparently not, based on the world one being first. <laughs> what is this? Fred. <laughs> it's just even randomized. So, although it doesn't seem like it, the first seven worlds they encounter, the world maps are randomized, so we don't know where we're going to see worlds one through seven's maps. However, the levels on the stages themselves will be chosen from the level pools, all the numerical levels, the sand levels, pyramid levels, any level that basically does not unlock a lock is on one level pool, all the fortresses, all those airship levels except for um, the first tank level are all shuffled, as well as the castles and the power-ups they're gonna get and the mushroom houses and the, and the matching game. And of course, Terrilyn knows how important those uh, matching that matching spade game can be, right? Absolutely, it can give you extra clouds, extra hammers. Just because the cards say you might be getting something, the randomizer may decide you're getting something else entirely. Indeed, and uh, 
you're going to see in this randomizer how, uh, if you're not familiar with this, one one uh, interesting note that is not like the vanilla game is that hammers become very, very critical to this um, completing this run quickly because hammers, by default in vanilla, can break the boulders, the rocks on the maps. But in the randomizer, during the uh, group stages, hammers can also break locks on the map. So typically, you have a castle or... A fortress or something that will basically unlock break that lock but now having those locks can break those and allow you to skip you know pretty heavy portions of the world in fact you got a couple of them in the cloud you can almost skip the entire world all together um, all depending on when you get them what world the orders are going to be showing in so it should be quite fun here so we have a little divergence here or maybe mitch is just that far ahead at this point He's in 2-3, while Demon Mustard is in 5 Fortress 1. Yep. Mitch, a little, Mitch started his time a little bit late, so there, you know, you see a little deviation there. And of course, one thing you'll interested to see is that enemies will be randomized all over the place. Um, there are again some instances where enemies are not randomized, just to make sure that we can still clear the level. Uh, for instance, where Mitch is right now, you want to make sure we always have a turtle or some kind of kickable um, shell there to make sure we don't get ourselves stuck at the end of the level. But, uh, yeah, yeah man. Even though the level does have a P-switch available, getting to it in time is tricky for a more novice player. And there's to say you can even fly up to get to it. Mm-hmm. Yep, and of course, um... Speaking of randomized, one thing I noted is that uh, since this game is randomizing, you may have very unexpected deaths, or possibly you may take an intentional death just to change your routing up. So you'll see right now, Hulima Mustard decided to, to bail out of the um, quad or the, the triple star there. Again, lives can be critical here. We have had um, numerous racers so far who have game over, unfortunately, um, just to challenging levels and whatnot. So. The last thing you want to do is game over, especially in a lengthy world, and have to backtrack through, you know, the same changes again, especially if there's no locks that you break, you know, in route. Yeah, especially in, like yesterday, I think it was, the 2-1 boss pass fest. Oh boy, that was fun. That was, that was like five minutes of just brutality for those players. They just were getting wrecked and... It was it just it was unfortunate, you know. You had really tough enemies, you know, the Goombas dropping the babies. You can't jump, and boss bass chasing you. Um, and you can expect to see stuff like that from time to time. Some levels have some pretty tough enemy spawns, that's for sure. But um, you see right now, auto scrolls are removed, and we can just go through these airships so fast now. We don't have to worry about any scrolling and. Uh, I like it like that a whole lot more better than normally. Of course, you also see that the HP is now randomized and potentially the things can stun lock you. Mitch going for the off screen kill, or uh, wand grab, trying to save frames. It'll warp him straight to the bottom if he is in the right position. Yep, and he was. Yep. Again, really easy when you have the ability to fly there. You know, Mitch should be shocking us with a wall jump from time to time. And, ooh, hammer versus fire there. Yeah, yeah I worry about using that hammer suit that early, but you gotta do what you gotta do in this. Yeah, you know, you can always, again, hammers can pop up randomly just like any other item. So, again, you could get a hammer suit from any location that will give you an inventory item, you know, be it a, be it a uh, brother's fight or the matching game or the prize for completing the level. You just don't know where you're going to get one at. So, but obviously you want to kind of either have that or preferably, you know, maybe a fire suit for Bowser, whichever will work. You know, hammer is a much quicker kill. Yeah, I think each hammer hits him multiple times. Mm-hmm. Indeed they do, and uh, of course you never know how it's going to happen here. Again, right now, of course, the second world they're in, as you can see on Mitch's screen, is World 5, our sky level. And of course, there is one lock on that level on the upper path, so if they're able to get a hammer, the question is, do they use it there and skip, you know, three stages? Do they save it for a later world, you know, for more, you know, maybe a better chance at it? Especially if they have two hammers, but... 
Again, we don't know how the RNG can go. Now, then you can have coin ships um, on the levels. Of course, coin ships are a guaranteed item, just like a hammer brother. Um, of course, you have to fight two boomerang brothers at the end, most likely. Alright, so Human Mustard is now getting in 7-7. Looks like Mitch is in 8-2, and oh my god, there's a boss pass. Now, if you notice, boss bass can actually take flight here. Um, boss bass can actually go up and down. Um, boss bass actually spawns based on your Y position, your vertical position in the level. So, I uh, gotta be a little careful on levels like that. They're kind of vertical in nature, like you saw him trying to get through 8-2 there. Couldn't go to Santa Shane there. That would have been the, the sand fest. And, oh, dodging those boomerangs. And, uh, that cloud's going to be pretty valuable. Yes, clouds and hammers are like your desired items for sure. And Mitch on his favorite level, and uh, uh, apparently he's a little frustrated he doesn't have his swag hammer. If you all watch Mitch's stream, you all know he, he makes this level look so pretty with his hammer stress. And, and oh boy, pixels were nice there. It didn't take contact damage from that boomerang, brother. Again, all the brothers are randomized. Um, no matter where you encounter them, be them in the level or on the world map. So anytime you have a brother's encounter, we could have fire, boomerang, the sledge slash sumo brothers, or um, our default hammer brothers there for fire, should I say. So. Mustard gonna, gotta watch out for that aerial boss bass. Oh, well. And A2 isn't exactly the easiest level to try to navigate for a newer player, even without a boss bass threatening you the whole way. Indeed. So, again, we have seen, uh, for some reason, it seems like every race has, oh boy, the bonk. A little too much speed there. Gotta go slow. Um, we seem to have eight, we seem to have eight, uh, seven, four, two, just way too much. I think almost every single race so far has had seven, four, two somewhere. Yeah, we do have the lost level shuffled in, but that doesn't help with the fortresses. I don't believe because none of them have a boom, boom at the end or control a lock. Yeah. So again, you, you'll see them in, oh man, boss bass, human mustard men to get down to sand of shame without yeah. <laughs> getting nommed up. I don't think he, I don't think boss bass could have ate him through the sand, which is pretty interesting to know for future races. Yeah, you just gotta get that timing there. Um, but uh, human mustard getting through eight two. <laughs> Yeah, we need we have we need to have maximum boss pass here. So Mitch picking up that hammer suit again, a very common level to pick up the hammer suit in to try to maintain as much as you can. Again, the hammer is very very um, deadly weapon to enemies. Of course, they cannot kill Koopa kids. Interesting enough, they can kill Bowser, but not his kids. How does that work? They do one shot boom boom so. Yeah, boom booms and Bowser. Cool kids, nah. In fact, you can't kill it. You can't kill them even them with a star except for Boom Boom. Um, and based on the rent, based on power up blocks being random as well. Um, not the giant power up blocks, but the standard ones like you see Human Mustard just getting. Um, you can get anything there. Nothing, everything basically except your Frog Tanuki and and um, Hammer Suit. Yeah, Mitch is just flying through these levels. A couple minutes ago, I saw him hit the end card game, but it looked like he was just feeling it out. He may feel he can get by without it. Yeah. So again, Mitch going through, getting through this stage here. Again, not having to worry about a boss pass here. Boss pass was randomized out for once in the level. So not really much of a thing of an issue there. Uh, seven fort one. So Mitch is gonna have to give up his hammer suit in order to complete the level. Yeah, having to get rid of your, I, I would call it the best power up in the game, personally. Um, again, required one of the, one of the couple levels where you have to fly in order to escape it. And of course, he has no other route around it, so sacrifices must be made here. Yep, 
Good old Teddy Rock. Teddy Rock's been there. It's quite interesting that we had a we had a uh, level that was played in the last race earlier today, and uh, we had a water level, and, and we learned the hard way that you don't use Tanuki statue in water levels. You, you sink fast, <laughs> and uh, the player cannot save them. And you get something you typically you don't see too often in this game. You usually don't have a Tanuki in water, you know. Them developers think in the head, though, that's exactly what should happen if you become a stone statue. You know? And uh, speaking of water sages, you see Mitch going through one of our our lost levels. So these are, there are eight levels in the game that are not playable in the OG version. And whoa, those guys are having some issues down there on Mustard Screen. Oh, I want to go down there and join them. So there are eight levels that are part of the code of the original Vanilla Mario 3, but they have been added to the randomizer to be played. Some of them are like betas of other levels, and some are just completely strange, like, hey, baby's first Mario Maker level type creations. And uh, you see one of them there. There are eight in the pool. You may not see them all, but usually they're short. But one of those is an auto-scroller, one of the only two auto-scrollers in the randomizer, the other one being 5-9, uh, that diagonal scroller that, such a time killer. Really is. Just a long level. Thankfully nowhere near as bad as during a normal speed run. Like the ship oh, that Mitch is flying through. Yeah, again, you can just fly over this, you know, with the good power ups, you can just fly over this stuff, you know, part you normally have to go down and especially though that long world four airship that goes at like one miles per hour. So and getting a one hit um RNG kill on Roy there. Again, HP of the Koopa Kids is randomized between one hit and five hits. And uh, can't ask for better than one hit. Mustard playing the card game again and picks himself up two items. Leaf in a yeah. music box, it looks like. Yeah, Leaf is cool. Definitely want to power up. Music box, you know, again, music boxes, some people don't really like them. But uh, once in the randomizer, if you begin to have a pretty hefty inventory, um, music boxes will be kind of nice just to skip them. Um, you know, because you only can have 20 items, and hopefully no one's going to have that many items in this in this race. But, again, sometimes if you have a lot of hammers and clouds, like, hey, let's just leave it like that. You know, you may have enough to kind of get through. You don't have too many. It is it is wasteful at a, eventually at a certain point. You know, clouds, maybe not hammers. Yeah, you know, if you got, like, nine hammers and you're halfway through, you're, you're good. You know? Mitch... <laughs> Just floating on. Yeah, that's sad. Uh, if you get the right pipe and say World 7, a hammer, two clouds, music box, you're already to the end. You are ready. You sure are. And uh, it sure can happen. And it may happen. Unfortunately, you know, we're going to have to work a little hard this time in World 7. Um, as you see, Mitch now going through another one of the hidden levels. You ain't see this one as a kid. So again, he's going to take the upper route, but realizes he can't go through that pipe because he has no tail. He has no whip action. But he's going to have to go back left. Um, interesting enough, even though Mitch is someone who grinds world records, this is where it becomes a little normalized here because he, you know, these are not familiar levels to them. And wow, where'd he come from? That almost <laughs> seemed preordained. Man, came from the bottom of the level. And of course, we got the. Oh boy. Playing with pixels. Man, look at that. Clips, we are down to eight frames a second. Mitch is trying to go back up because, well, he just want to go see the in other side of those blocks he saw earlier. Be a little careful there. Ah, boy. Some of these lost levels, though, you can tell they're obvious betas. They may not have enemies or they may look incomplete. They may even had to graph the end area on that. Yeah. There was some intern from Nintendo trying to impress the press the people. They, they they let him go to Sega instead, apparently. Those levels weren't looking too hot. But uh, here we go. Human Mustard was going to slow down. Doesn't want to pick up any more lives. Human Mustard's confident. You know, typically see a lot of people with double-digit lives. But um, especially only being two worlds in because you just don't know what's going to happen. So Human Mustard is going to take care of this hammer brother. Uh-oh, two fires. Not problem. He's going to... Uh-oh. He hopped right when he tried to go for the block kill and gets a hammer out of it. 
nice to note there. Now, by the way, um, if we haven't, uh, if you didn't catch it earlier, they play, if they happen to play the matching game, which for those who read your Nintendo Powers back in the day, you get a matching game every 80,000 points. So you can see that Human Muster is literally just 300 points away from getting another one to spawn the map. And so when you match, the items you see are not what you get. And you won't know until you, as you saw earlier, taking a glance at the inventory. Oh, God. Vanilla star in this fortress. Uh, so nice, ain't it? It's so nice, but still. It could have been a star in the next block, then it would have been none vanilla. Well, kind of like vanilla swirl, then, right? A little half and half there or something. That said, getting that star kill is nowhere near as easy as it looks. Yeah. So they are on the, on the same seat here. Right now, Mitch is trying to figure out, again, World 7 is like your, your big challenging level on how to get through it because you're presented at a very beginning you know you got a free path to check no levels or taking the one path so he's gonna have to traverse here to figure out how do i get through here trying to get to that right side of the map here and as you can see oh that's not going to work and this is this is the kind of level that can swing the race here so mitch has two pipes above two he's gonna have to play it and play pick a pipe again and uh, Human Mustard can honestly catch up just by making a better pipe choice, if possible. There's the matching card game. Yeah, this world's extremely swingy with all the divergent paths and the randomized pipes. Yeah. So, so far, who they fought so far? They fought, um, they fought our World 1, and they have fought, who was our last, our last Koopa Kid? We had one hit, Roy? Yeah, the one with the pink shell, that was Roy. Yep. Yep. So, um, again, getting through 1-5 there on Human Mustard's screen. And let's see if Mitch can get to that right side. Again, this is another level where having a hammer can help if you happen to take a pipe that takes you right beside 7-9. Uh, and see, Mitch finally gets to the right side of the map here. Again, that having that one pipe on this level, on that one hammer, if you can find your way, you could potentially skip all these levels that Mitch just did, you know, depending on how the pipes take you, but looks like this seed is going to be forcing you to take a longer path, whether you want it or not. There we go. 7-9 giving us a hand level, looks like the third one. Yep. So all those little hand levels are mixed into the regular level pools. Hand levels don't unlock any locks. So all the numerical stages, the hand levels, as I mentioned earlier, they all fall into the, late, the same level pool of shuffling. All the forts, all the forts that you see Mitch on now, those along with all of the uh, tank type levels, the tank, the na super navy, or super navy, and all those ships. All those levels all mix into the same one, except for the original one, the first tank level. And uh, having to use a little different strats here because I got mean, a lot of star men lately, it looks like. Yeah, putting on a clinic there with those stars. Normally, a runner like him would try to go through it with the tail just flying around everything. Yeah. Yeah. So again, music bosses can put the piranha, put those um, piranha seeds to sleep. But again, he has a star, so you know, let's rock with it. Granny's he's going to get an item for sure. Hopefully, he gets a hammer or a cloud. And he's going to Mitch Flower Power for the Hammer Brother Society, getting his literally his like prized like pixel there. I'm sure he loves that. And over on the left screen, Human Mustard doing the advanced six fortress one strat, running across the spikes. He misses yeah. that second star though, so we ain't gonna yeah. be seeing the second star kill. Indeed. So Mitch is about to be done with his third world here. He's gonna go there up. Look at that, he, he just lost frames. I'm gonna have to get on Mitch. He just lost like two frames for not being on the ground, grabbing a wand here. Unacceptable. You don't want to get too swaggy in one of these randomizers. Watch him lose by two frames, see? 
Yes, don't don't watch him. Don't listen. Don't practice what he's preaching right now. Those those are bad strats there. So as you can see, Fred, I want my I want my SMB. He has laid this game with tons of quotes for our viewing pleasures there. Fortunately, with the matching, you end up missing a lot of them. So I, I would encourage you if you want to play this randomizer yourself, if you type exclamation SMB three R, you'll be presented with the links to the tournament. Um, the challenge bracket, as well as a little overview of what's randomized, and a link to download this thing and play it for yourselves on your on your totally legal emulators and flash drives and consoles and mobile devices for those who just want to really challenge their playing abilities. Yeah, it doesn't even matter if you speedrun this or not. If you haven't played it in 10 years, randomize it. It feels like a whole new game. Honest. It is. It's like, I mean, seriously, it's like a hundred million games for the price of one or none, I guess, depending on your circumstances. Good old hot foot there. Oh, man, we got a boot. Oh, man, the boot just sitting there. It's like, Brad, what's up? What a troll, boo. Oh, boy. So, Bob and him with his firepower. Meanwhile, human mustard has fire. And ooh, just evades the fire chain monster there. Now you see Mitch taking advantage of that hammer in World Four's map again, being able to skip um, the front, you know, almost the front half of the level there. And ooh, a little bonk action there. Again, this is another one of those hidden levels here. Just gotta go straight up. We saw this level a little earlier in another race. They actually had a frog suit. It was pretty sweet to actually see a level where you have to swim straight up as a frog. Pretty neat looking. I saw that. That was a thing of beauty. Yeah. Woo! And Human Mustard, I think he just got saved by the cheap cheat for once. Almost slipped off into the, to the hot tomato sauce there. Mitch gonna play a little matching game here. Represented for Team Canada matching and rip. So he's got two items there, and looks like he picks up uh, what was that, a peak wing and a, a and a leaf. Yeah, so all kinds of flying ability for him. Oh, those fire brothers in that layout, such tight quarters. If you don't have fire or hammer yourself, you pretty good chance you're going to lose your power up. You know. Hot and sour sauce. It's hot, it's hot and sour soup. Well, maybe it's hot and sour. I don't know. You must have one of those new generation Chinese restaurants. Hot sauce. Uh, I could go for some hot and sour soup right now. I totally had Chinese today, by the way. I, I did. I didn't have any egg rolls, though. I had sweet and sour chicken and house fried rice. I had fried rice and shrimp and garlic sauce earlier. Oh. Look, we're not going to turn this into a food chat, dog. On it, food chats are too addictive on Twitch for some reason. So uh, Mitch is uh, going to take care of this fortress here. By the way, if you haven't noticed, um, in the randomizer, you have the option. Um, it doesn't affect the seating. You can actually either have the music randomized as well, or that. Apparently, Mitch just sent the hot foot to his family down there. I guess you could say. And Human Mustard getting trolled by Ludwig's hitbox, which does tend to be a little bit wonky when he has a high step like that. Yeah, those hitboxes don't collide correctly, and the game says, um, you fail. And, uh, <laughs> that's what happens, unfortunately, at times. <laughs> Is this even me? <laughs> Spoiler, I can't stand egg rolls. I just sing about them on TV. Nah. But uh, here we go. So Human Mustard wraps up the third world there. Mitch just about finished the halfway point, I guess you could say, of this. Yeah, another one-hit Koopa Kill. Man, what is going on? The Koopa Kids are just soft in this seed here. Not even putting up a fight. So more doom the doom the doom the doom the doom the music there. Get ready to see what world is coming up next. The must is going to be falling behind right now in the same world there. So I think Human Mustard has a hammer as well. So Human Mustard will be able to 
skip the first uh, three stages of the level here. There have been two hammers there. At least two. Oh, no. oh yeah. Two hammers and a cloud and you're right to the ship. Yep, and he has oh he has an anchor. Now he could play the anchor and the anchor could be a hammer. Yeah, but, uh, but he decided not to take the risk and instead in five three. Yep. So the anchor for you don't if you don't know, anchor is that is literally the best item ever in Mario 3. Nah, no one really likes it and when you got it as a kid, you probably didn't know what it did in the first place. Anchors usually prevent the airships. In fact, that's the only purpose. Prevents the airships from flying away if you die on them for some reason. We got half a sun over there on Mitch's screen. Man, half a sun. Oh, never mind. Sun left us. Just gone. But uh, in the randomizer, because airships don't move if you die, they award you a random inventory item. So it could be anything. Everything is free game except for whistles because whistles have been removed um, from the randomizer based on the tournament setting. So everything else is fair game. We had some really fast seeds earlier there. I mean, we actually had people who had gotten through what the first six worlds in um, in thirty minutes. I mean, it was really fast, and then it and then it got bad, <laughs> you know, to balance it out. Yeah, another lost level. Yep. Again, a very awkward scrolling. The the sky is is scrolling up and down. What? How does that even work? I guess it didn't work well enough, which is probably why it got taken out of the production game. Yep, another one of those Mario Maker interns trying to make their first levels, and the developers like, nope. And uh, Mitch, Ooh, rat. God, assaulted by the hammer. The hammer is literally bigger than small Mario. Or is that actually green Mario, which I kind of like right now. So, using a star, again, is, is pretty common that almost any time you see it, not going to see any time, but most times if you have a star and you've got a hammer, dude, just take, use a star get it out of the way quickly. Especially if you end up with the, the dreaded water arena with double fire brothers. And you're little. That's just, that is the worst. That is seriously the worst thing that could happen in this game, in my opinion. I lost a couple practice runs to that specific scenario, and... They just sit on you if you have bad luck. It and how many good. lives did you lose? I lost about 11 in a row. I'm telling you, they stun lock you and you can't use an item. They, they, they stay right on top of you. And not fun. It's Luigi. Luigi ain't that thick. He used to be a little bit taller and not as plump as Mario. And his jumps are better. Yeah. So again, this lovely level here, this level has a tendency to be very, very laggy where Mitch is about to go into, depending on the enemy spawns, and uh, not getting the cheap, cheap fest. Oh, we've got some bloopers to deal with. Blocking oh, him from that power up. Yep. Interesting enough, kind of when it slows down, you have a little more time to react, but still a lot of bloopers, but he's going to get past this. Not as bad as it could have been, that's for sure. Nobody yeah. likes this level. Not even yeah. in vanilla. Let's so get past this last little portion here. Watch out for that enemy. You haven't lived until you had a, 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 a boss pass right at the end of that pipe. That is fantastic when you see a boss pass in. Just when you think you're home free, gulp. Dead. And back to start you go. Fun for us, but it's annoying for the person who had to go through that stage and then boop. Oh. No. Yeah, I'm telling you, I've I've I've, I've told some of the runners that if they want to, if they are willing to race a more interesting seat, we'll put that in quotes. I'll be more than happy to provide them with a nice little. It's a seat that will probably make the viewers happy to enjoy it and watch it for sure. Maybe not the runners, but uh, they want to spice up the game even more than it already is. So, uh, Mitch getting through World 7's airship here. Again, able to speed that one up. And, uh, we've got Big Boy here. No stun lock. But a lot of HP on Morton. Yeah, Morton is trying to get a little fight here. I and, guess he uh, had to make up for those 1 HP Koopa kids. Yeah. Yep. Everybody else was kind of slacking in their, in their strength there. 
So Mitch will be done with his fifth world. Honey, uh, him, I'm about to say honey mustard. Don't look hungry, any human mustard. About to say, what is a human mustard anyway? That sounds strange. Honey Sorry. mustard sounds so divine. <laughs> we gotta stop oh, talking about food. I'm sorry, I know it's all late anyway. So he's gonna get a mushroom. Make sure you all drink more Ovaltine, and of course, we're gonna do a quick uh, pipe check here again. Could take him to behind the rock over there, and uh, oh, behind the rock, and he is hammerless. So he will oh, have to. No. Go. Yeah, unfortunate there. Now he oh he can just easily wall jump this level. I'm not impressed. You see the sun there in the background? <laughs> so one thing about the wall jump is that the wall jump when you're actually big Mario is a little bit different when you're small. You have a slightly different physics set when you're big. Um, it's actually easiest when you're little. Um, you have to kind of jump a little bit different here. Again, it is quicker to go for this than to to the player level. Eventually, you just want to go play it and get it over with. But, uh, Mitch is going to let you know bump this. So it's going to take the upper path here. Trying to avoid that water. Again, one of these levels that, you know, sometimes you kind of didn't know how to get out of this level. It's a power up in that note block, but, eh. Oh, look at the little baby. Isn't it cute? Yeah, too bad I can't nom on you. Yeah. Well, too bad for us watching, anyways. Yeah, anytime you see the single, the single cheap cheap that's kind of, you know, like the baby, the baby boss bass, um, that is a place where a boss bass could have spawned at. So that could have been interesting as he got near the end. All of a sudden, gulp, gulp. Yeah, you know, one thing I think I like about the randomizer is that if you're someone that watches a lot of speed runs, you end up seeing levels that you would probably never see them play unless they're doing, say, a hundred percent run. And uh, I really, I really like that aspect of it. And even then, they know the bad levels are coming, so they usually just P-Wing or clip through them. Yeah. In this, they don't know what's coming, so they have no chance to prepare unless they decide to take an intentional death. Indeed. So Mitch is in, uh, we're, Mitch is sitting here in 6-5 here. Again, requiring, uh, the other level requiring you to fly out of here. And another place where the, the item block is not randomized, because we have to make sure you can still beat the level, so... Again, one of those locations where um, we, well, the items are hard coded to avoid that soft lock potential. And of course, he knows how to get out of this place. He even <laughs> takes a, a gift. Move. You know, he just had he just had lucky timing. That's all. That's and it's, I've noticed it's also going to give you at least something that could be whipped into a shell to take up there with you, because you could end up with. Little nibblers or spinies or something that you can't just stomp out the way. Yeah, we haven't seen any fire nippers yet, and uh, we have seen some really trolly locations of fire nippers. Especially, I tweeted one the day with someone had in a practice race. Um, we had, uh, I believe, we had, I want to say, uh, five eight, where you know it's a you know one of the cloud levels, and right beside the pipe there was a nipper just sitting there. Uh, just blocking the pipe and the player at the time was small Mario. So just lost the power up and rip <laughs> just sitting there looking at you. So uh, it's fantastic how it, ha how it happens sometimes. Now, you know, right now, if human mustard has that hammer, so human mustard can pick up some ground right here because human mustard can skip one and or two or three, depending on the route choice. So all of a sudden human mustard is only two stages behind now. That's how item management at work, and Human Mustard's also been clearing that end card a lot better. Yeah, I had one more, he could have already been on 6-4 on there, so not too far behind right now. But going to have to play this level here, literally one stage behind right now. One stage. Showing you right now how vital your hammer is. Taking that time to maybe spend 30 seconds, 20-30 seconds on a matching game might save you here as you can see three minutes so mitch going for that ever popular seven one clip here third try failure fourth try. This, this elevator section in six fortress three for human mustard that is a bad layout of enemies especially yeah. the one hot foot the side needs to move wherever he wants 
Yeah, Mitch eight tries to get that clip. I know he's like, man, come on, bro. Actually, I believe the word he said on his stream is frick. I think that's the word or something like that. I don't know. Uh, of course, one thing about Hotfoot, if you didn't notice already, Hotfoot has a has a crazy brother or sister, whatever you want to call it. Um, by default, by default, the Hotfoots stop when you look at him. But uh, on this version, oh man, socked. The athletic socks in the 80s just bopped them. But Hotfoot has another version of it that actually walks any way they want to. Regardless of which way you're, you're facing. Frig. Oh, I can't understand his Canadian accent. You know, nah, I pick on all the time about that. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. It's going above the barrier. There. Oh, watch out. Man, look. Uh-oh, we got some issues here. We have the coin ship and the hammer brother on top of each other. Gotta be a little careful there. Sometimes, um, because you can get yourself anyone that's played this game. Sometimes those hammer moving and moving and moving so they can not overlap each other. So again, him and Mustard doing the doing the fight. But one thing about using a P wing here is that it actually becomes slow because your vertical momentum is much slower than you running. So, um, you know, it's nice to fly over it, but it, it does make you go slow in a horizontal fashion. Very quick slowdown. So, ooh, a hammer suit. Hey, look at there. Look at there. Terrell got the hammer suit back he used earlier. It's going to be very nice for later. Yep. So, again, um, our players don't know where they are, each other, each other, the other player is. Um, interesting to note, as I said, if you have lives and you have the items, again, not uncommon to take a quick death. And uh, use something that would be more suitable. And human mustard is pretty close to Mitch, but you know, playing these extra hammers is starting to that gap is starting to increase a little bit. But you never know; we might have another clout here or something. And oh man, dunda dunda dunda. Yeah, another P wing, which isn't the most terrible thing. Yeah. You saw Mitch get that swag kill on Eight Fortress One. Yeah. So here comes the sun. Sun becomes active halfway through. And oh boy, gotta back the thing up right there. Yes, thank you. Thank you, chat. Doing the doing the doing the desk. That's what we that's what everybody should be spamming. Every time we hear that falling that falling music. Him and Mustard loving the P-Wing stress right now. Again, not, unfortunately, not any ground to really run to keep your speed up here. And uh-oh, Mitch is looking for new strats, apparently. He's he's like he's done with 610. Oh, oh and 69 deals on the same card. Man. Mitch is getting denied here, and he goes with the P-Wing strats like human mustard. Man, P-Wing City's all over the place here. But well, he's going the upper path here. You'll never see him up here unless it's a randomizer. I don't know. I just get a kick out of them dying repeatedly. I don't know. I, I, maybe I'm just a, a bad person, but. Yeah, it does even things up a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, and uh, not making the door there. So they're going to have to go hit the piece, which again, and of course, the smart thing is to stay small. Oh, if we got a star, we can make it. If we can, uh, we can go fast, we can make it to Boom Boom. A lovely star RNG, so we can get a boom boom kill. Another boom boom kill again. Usually in the game, only one place in the entire game in vanilla can you kill a boom boom with a star. And but uh, thanks to the randomizer, opens up a lot more opportunities for it. So this is pretty close here. I mean, this is a pretty close match here. And again, we still have you know, world eight, which is its own pipe maze of itself. So you know, some wrong choices there could. Put human muscle in the league, you never know. That extra hammer making all the difference. He was almost a world behind at one point. Indeed. But like I said, Mitch is, uh, let's see, we're at, uh, Mitch is about to spawn, well, after he starts world, because you can't get a, a matching game at the very beginning of the level if you happen to cross over the threshold. So, 
his next hammer would be at uh probably I don't know if he got it already or not, but seven hundred and twenty thousand points will give him another one. Oh boy, we got a lot of hits on Iggy here. So he will be done with his sixth world here. He'll muster again just a couple of stages behind here. Yeah, they have the same they have the same seed. Um they the, the streamers, the streamers. Well they are the streamers. They do have the ability to choose Mario's color. Um it doesn't change the seed any, but they do can they can change the palette there. Of course, some people will be playing on console or emulator, so you may see slight palette differences, you know, just in you know, in luminosity and hue and all those T V type words. And oh, Skip oh. the whole world. So again, this is the second seed tonight that has had the god RNG on the pipe. So we're gonna have no time. We're gonna have another pair of sub two minute worlds. And he goes for the clip on the airship. We ain't gonna see that in auto scroller. Actually, he usually goes for that particular clip for swag. Yeah, he always does. So again, these figures have the same seed. So human mustard will be able to benefit from that exact same. Um, pipe choice, unless for some reason human mustard forgets to check the pipe, which you should always check your pipes in randomizer, especially ones that are prior to any levels being played. So that means that right now, human mustard, in order for human mustard to catch up, Mitch is going to have to have some tough luck in navigating through world eight. And it has happened today several times where people have gone a completely wrong path only having to backtrack all the way back to the first screen and try the second pipe there so or we could have like world three just went and the first pipe after this tank stage could be you know the path of destiny and uh oh we have no choice this time we have to play seven five Ooh. and this can be bad we can have these fire chomps. We can have Bertha in here, Boss Bass. He's going to get the clips here, take out part of that level there. He's going to go for this one, misses it. Definitely going to try for all the clips here. Maybe we'll there get that King back as one when he's willing to admit there's five lights. Yeah, right. <laughs> so again, he's gonna see if he's gonna go for the clip down here. Usually everybody uses well, I'm gonna say everybody, but some of the veterans will go for the clip you'll see down here. They're gonna hit the blocks and then wall jump the clip. And uh yeah, pretty easy clip when you're when you have that set up. So Mitch is gonna be done with that stage again, gonna save a lot of time for um going for the clips there. But uh, let's see what the first pipe takes us. Will it be Destiny? The perfect RNG again? Mm -mm. Not quite. So this is where it comes interesting. Mitch decided to go back. Now the thing is, the path that he went to could have been correct. Or the hand path could be correct. And so we don't know which one is going to be the right answer yet. So... Now that Human Muster is about to start World 8, Human Muster could take the other path, and we may have a change here. We don't know. Realistically, what you want to see world map-wise in this particular world is the Dark World, because there's so many different pipes you can go through. Yep. That is where the bulk of all the pipes are in the world, and there's higher odds, but, you know, <laughs> like a race a day, that higher odds paid out to be a bad gamble, because every pipe on that screen either looped to each other or it went back to the first screen. It was like, oh, so unfortunate. So Mitch is gonna try the um, second pipe and well, we're on the dark screen. So he's gonna have to beat this for it. This will open up right now. This will open up three additional pipes on this map. And you heard Terrellin just say, this is the screen you prefer to be on. Uh, most options. Hopefully, um, you don't have these two connecting to each other. One could take you behind the lock on the hand screen, which is bad. The other two could loop to each other on the same screen, which is bad. Which means you either have to go back across the hands, or you have to play 8-2 and 8-1 backwards. And hope that's the right choice. The muster is gonna... Ooh. 
I know that a lot of these runners don't want to see he, having to go through the hand path because the best thing you can do is avoid them and you don't yeah. get any say in it. Kind of stinks if you beat them and if you get through them with no hands and you have to just back across them like, uh-oh. And, oh, and, and uh oh, did I jinx it? He gets put behind the lock and has to go back. Commentator curse in there. So again, he still has two more pipes he can check here. Hopefully this one doesn't take him to the other side of the lock. And oh, we have found Bowser. So it looks like Mitch will be on the way to potential victory here. Then I must have trying to do it this 7-5 map here. Yep. L literally go time. Okay, this ain't no Zaldo. Yep. Usually on 7-5. 7-5, if you don't go for clips, um, I'm t you know, another straight is to use your P-Wing. Forcing you from not having to, first of all, you can use that uh, block, that little single brick to skip going down the first time, and then you can fly over the hidden block gaps and not have to do that portion where he just hit the other ones. Mitch gonna burn through his whole inventory here. Just because, why not? So since Mitch has no flower power, <laughs> how does that work? Mitch has no flower power. I said that. He has no flower power and he has no hammer. He's gonna have to do the longer, longer uh, kill him on Bowser here. He could check that power up below the door, but I don't think. Nope, he's gonna, he's gonna go give for it. it. Look at there, of course, of course he gets a flower. His name has been upgraded back up to Mitch Flower Power. So he's gonna go back up, go on the upper path here, shorter path to Bowser. <laughs> yeah. That stage human mustard's on. I hate trying to play that stage in Rando. Yeah, that's the stage where the, where the player got blocked by a nipper at the, at the very end and was small, just had to sit in and just die. And speaking of death, Bowser is dead. Peach has been obtained. And uh, Mitch will win the race here. It was a close one for a little bit, you know. Everybody's not too far apart, and Mitch has done it. He is complete with a time of, uh, well, since his, his time is a little off here, it's roughly about 48, uh, 46 with his timing issues here. But about 48, 46, we'll go back and time it so we can make sure we have it accurate for the leaderboard. So congratulations to Mitch Flowerpower, our win roar of the match here. And we're going to see if we can go give a little powwow to our runner, a little winner here. Anyway, while we went on that, Human Mustard getting through and finds himself behind the locked door in Dark World. Yeah. So, um, Mitch Flower Power, congratulations on your unexpected win, man. Thank you. Unexpected? Was he yeah. catching up? Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Is yeah. it because my World 6? Well, one thing is, well, actually, I say World 6. Did have a hammer, though. Did catch up there. Because um, you did have to, you, you were out of hammers there. You were hammerless. You did not represent for the Hammer Brothers Society. I didn't. I used up all my hammers quite quick. Yeah. Yes. No surprise. I know you have this addiction for hammers, though. But tell me, man, what had the seed, though? You had, obviously, World 3 was nothing. You know, you had the God Pipe, so who cares about this that? This seed was though? full of stars. I don't know, yeah, like, there are a lot of stars. There are stars everywhere. The Hammer Brothers, the Hammer Brothers that I did fight were not nice to me. I got a bunch of music boxes. It was horrible. Um, <laughs> as, aside from that, uh, it, it wasn't so bad. We had the... Now, when we did the race with Sky and Pooh, we had the free World 7, not free World 3. But this time, we got the free World 3, but World 7 was not kind to me. I was yeah. running around there. Was there a, was there a shortcut, or did uh, Mustard have to go through the same kind of path? Um, basically the same path. The only deviation you all really made was... In World 3, just having that extra hammer on, on Mustard's side there. But, uh, 
Like he got a hammer from World Three because World Three took us straight to the. Oh castle. no no no! Actually no, he did matching game. He did additional matching game, and had an uh, extra hammer there. Oh shoot! Dang. Yeah man, okay, those those I, hammers. I'm telling you. Oh, I went for the matchmaking games whenever they popped up. I just, I, I only got like a couple matches, p wings. Yeah. Got some p wings and stuff. So it was it was pretty fun. Man, I had a good time. Yeah man. Yes, this is your this is your first tournament Official. race. That's yeah. right. So, uh, what do you think, man? Do you think you can take it home, or, you know? Oh, I don't, I don't know. This one felt exceptionally slow, this seed, but, I mean, that's to be expected with the seeds, right? You, you gotta go in not being like, oh, I hope this seed's good, right? You just gotta kind of use your wits and your muscle memory. Oh, yeah, and, and that's what happens. And, you know, prime example, you know, we, we did the exhibition race, and, we, you know, we had seeds there, but just to give an example, you know, we just see yesterday in the winning time, like, Sky won her race, and it was like a like a 56. It was just it was just so bad. I mean, World 8 was trolly. Yeah, um, World 8 was even worlds. trolly here a little bit, too. Yeah, like, in fact, right now, him and Mustard actually took a little bit longer path than you because you immediately went back on the uh, hand... Low, a hand map and, and did the other level. yeah i have so i have like a little strategy which i don't mind sharing with anyone but um the idea is that there's so many other pipes other than the ones that cross the hands that if you can manage to connect both pipes in that hand section then you can eliminate even having to go through the hands at all so once once i came out of a pipe in front of the hands and then i went back and then i came out of a pipe that was behind the hands i knew i didn't have to do the hands yeah. i would like I don't want to have to flip flop back and forth, getting pulled in, not pulled in, you know. So. Yeah, we were definitely talking about that one. Yeah. Um. So I stopped my timer about thirty seconds later, as like. I, a, know, I know you're I cheating. Forgot to, I forgot to start my timer, uh, right away. So I gave myself a thirty second uh, penalty. I know, I know, I know you cheated. <laughs> I'm just gonna fight you for that. No. <laughs> oh, let's see. This is a start. I got so lucky at the end in Bowser's Castle, though. Um, I was banking on that one power up being a, a fire flower. Dude, See, I literally called you, Mitch. I said that's like Mitch has no no flower power. I'm like, what? And then all of a sudden, ten seconds later, there it is. I'm like, dang, <laughs> man. So that power up is actually normally a leaf. They don't actually give you fire flower in Bowser's castle. I guess yeah. they want you to uh, fire flower him. So we got to make sure you send Fred a thank you note for that one. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'll thank him for all the music box and stars he gave me. I, yeah. I'm like, I told myself in some worlds, I said, you know what, get these hammer brothers. Trust me, it's it's gonna pay off at the end if I got hammers. And what do I, I use the star, I get a star. I use the star, I get a star. Mm -hmm. Oh, right on. Terry, what you got from what you got from Mitch here? I saw you putting on that clip, Nick. There throughout this run, clipping every place you could. <laughs> I was trying, yeah. I think I spent a solid 30 seconds in that 6-9 level. I just couldn't, e I couldn't even get the sub-pixel values. No, yeah, it wasn't working for me. Cheating, man. Cheating. The cheating. Hey, now it's in the strategy guide. Hey. How dare you press buttons on your controller? We don't want that yeah. mess. Yeah, either. come on now. Tool assisted speedrun. You have to do it without the controller. Ooh, That's this is close. Mustard. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, it didn't respawn. Why? Oh, hey, no. man. It was randomized. Out. Whoa, boy, that was close to that Poodaboo there. But I'm uh, going to get the hammer kill on Bowser, so this will be a literally a, a two, three second fight if, at best. Or uh, worse. Here we go. Man. Bowser don't Watch. die. Like that power up too is randomized, so I could have been a fire flower, but I wasn't going to take this path. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, the pain and suffering. Oh, dang it. I just saw that. So we're going to get to see more cheating here. So, um, Well, this is going to be harder because the, the gap in the floor is one... He knows. He knows yeah. the legless. Right on. So, yeah. Take notes, you all. All you runners. All people who are like, oh my god, how is he cheating? You know, before you put on a YouTube video and half of the world thinks you cheated. Yes, that is by design. Well, yes. bad, by bad design, I guess you're gonna call it. So. All right. Well, I'm. Uh, I'll probably head out then. Um, yeah. Right on. Well, Thanks congrats, for having me, guys. man. Fun, and uh, I would wish you luck in your next race, but psh, why waste my breath? I mean, you're gonna probably do good anyway. But you never know. No, no. I. He was catching up to me that race. I was. I could have lost. You know, I could have been lost in World Eight and 
done some, you know, randomly spawned fish. You never know. Yeah, that's right. Those randomizers can put these these godlike speedrunners in check here from time to time. It's gonna happen. So, yeah, man. Right. Have a have a good night, brother, and uh, we'll see you Thanks next for, time. Thanks for having me, man. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. And uh, we're gonna get human mustard in here. I let human mustard talk about this as well. I know. I'm definitely looking forward to Mitch's next race. Another hype clip, Nick. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's expected for, again, you have a lot of people in the tournament. Not a whole lot, but you have a, a, a several very good runners of the game who, you know, they use